Hi everyone. We're going to get some practice using the light equation in this video. And in this first example, they want us to find the frequency of radiation. So remember, frequency, that has the symbol nu, whose wavelength is 0.86 nanometers. So lambda is the symbol for wavelength, and it's 0 0.86 nanometers. So my equation equals C equals lambda nu, and we're solving for nu. So nu, the frequency, equals C over lambda. Now C is a constant. That's the speed of light. It will always be given to you. It's 3.00 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. And now we have to divide by the wavelength. And again, the wavelength is given to us, but it has the units of nanometers. If we want to use it in this equation, we probably should convert nanometers into meters. So 0 0.86 nanometers. And I might say that for every 1 times 10 to the 9th nanometers, I have 1 meter. And if I do the arithmetic, I get 8.6 times 10 to the negative 10th meters. So I just put my answer here. And look how nice this is. Meters cancel out. And my units are going to be 1 over seconds or reciprocal seconds or hertz, which is the unit for frequency. So let me do this arithmetic. And it looks like I'm only going to have two sig figs in my answer. So I'll call that 3.5 times 10 to the 17th. Again, this is 1 over seconds. Or I could call that reciprocal seconds. Or I could call that hertz. Any of these units would be fine. So pretty high frequency. And again, pretty short wavelength. Let's try another one. What is the wavelength of radiation? So now we're going to be solving for lambda that has a frequency given here. So nu is 6.4 times 10 to the 11th reciprocal seconds. So we're going to use that same equation. The speed of light equals the wavelength times the frequency. Now we're solving for wavelength. Wavelength equals C over nu. C is 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And this is kind of nice. The units of frequency can be used as they are. I'm just going to divide by 6.4 times 10 to the 11th. Reciprocal seconds could be re rewritten as 1 over seconds, and notice that seconds cancel, and my units end up in meters. Now, they just asked me for wavelength. They didn't ask me for what units the wavelength should be, so I guess I'll just leave my answer in meters. Let's do the arithmetic, and I guess I'm only going to need two sig figs in my answer. I am getting 4.7 times 10 to the negative fourth meters. And if I wanted to, um, I might say that for every one meter, there are a thousand millimeters. And that would be 0 0.47 millimeters. So either one of these answers is fine. Again, they didn't specify the units for wavelength. But for me, it's just easier to imagine half a millimeter. And let's just look at one more. So would the radiation in part A or B be detected by an X-ray detector? So I needed to pull up this diagram in order to answer that question. So if we go back to part A, the wavelength in part A was not even one nanometer. So in part A, I think we were somewhere in this region. And 
Yes, I think for the frequency, we got somewhere here. So in part A, we were somewhere here. So I think, would the radiation in part A be detected by an X-ray detector? Yes. In part A, yes. Because that radiation did fall within this X-ray region. In part B, we had a frequency of 10 to the 11th. Which, pushed, which puts us here in the microwave region. So in part B, no, that radiation would not be detectable by an X-ray detector. So that's all for this video. Hope it helped a little bit, and thanks for listening.